Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where I'm just whipping up uh, different Tinker's bits and pieces uh, to complete some quests. Just getting them out of the way, I'm, I'm not going through and doing absolutely everything we need to do. So, uh, in between episodes, I've been creating a whole bunch of scorched bricks. Um, a pretty nice way to get more magma cream, which is what I was short of is just to chuck the magma blocks in a multi survey press, which we have sitting over there, uh, with the metal press mold for unpacking. And yeah, that got me plenty of, of this, and I've, I've got plenty of scorch, scorched bricks and stuff in here. So yes, we're going to make ourselves a foundry. Seems like the main advantage, aside from potentially, I think, being able to process... Um, more advanced materials. Uh, the main advantage I think is yes things don't alloy in it so you can just buff a whole bunch of ores in there um, and that you won't have that that issue where sometimes stuff gets uh, combined together. Yeah so just finishing off these tickers things I'm gonna make all the different tickers workbenches and whatnot um, and I guess we'll it's kind of ended up being a sort of tinkers area out here uh, but this this can all change of course I'll probably put the foundry here because then it's kind of symmetrical. Although I think the foundry could be bigger. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll deal with uh, washing this, the crushed ore from this um, in the future if, if we feel like it's worth it. And uh, yeah, all of these different uh, lanterns have been quest rewards. So it's like a manulin one, which is kind of cool. It's queen slime, which is used for something. And a regular lantern and a soul lantern. Just, yeah, seems like a kind of cool place to put them. But I'll keep making all these random uh, tinkers things and then we'll set up ourselves the, the foundry. And the last couple of blocks for the smeltery. And luckily we can do this. So yeah, he's a big fella. Um, doesn't actually hold more ingots per like row. Because that's slightly bigger. That's exactly the same size, um, despite using more bricks. But I think the advantage is it can like hold more in its internal tank. Well, I overshot that. Nice. So yes, uh, very boxy and large, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool, and we'll we'll use this when we need to. We've got a, a chute that we can hop our stuff in, or you know, pipe with with pretty pipes. Um, I haven't done any of the Tinker's Benches yet, uh, and I was going to, but then you're getting into all of this stuff, which we don't really need right at this moment, so I think I'll hold off. I think I'll hold off. Um, at some point I am planning on doing that though, so that we can get the Tinker's Mining Hammer, would be nice, uh, which needs, needs us to get into the anvil, which actually probably wouldn't be too bad. Okay, so last episode we finished this chapter of tech. Uh, so only two chapters left, although I expect this one is going to be more difficult than the previous one. So we kind of have two routes we can go. Looks like this one's getting down into industrial four going, perhaps. Um, through a little bit of immersive engineering, um, or we can come down into Metacraft. Which looks like it leads to refined storage. Which, I'm going to be honest, I'd be pretty keen, pretty keen uh, to get into that. So we do need, yeah, I mean we've got the induction smelter. So it looks like we need this this whole pressure chamber thing. I've seen it done, I've never done it myself. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can do in this department. So it looks like the first quest for Pneumatocraft is making this liquid compressor and some liquid fuels. And we can either get tree oil or refined fuel. And refined fuel is the whole fractioning still. Uh, but I, I kind of like the sound of tree oil because I think... Okay, so that come... Oh, that needs a... Well, okay, we might not be able to do tree oil for a start. Let's let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so we have a fluid encapsulator. We don't have refined fuel. Ah, we do get tar as an output if we go this route, though. Could be quite nice. So maybe we do whip up some fractioning stills. 
But if we have a look at this liquid compressor, we need some bellows, which is just treated wood and tough fabric. I've got heaps of this uh, industrial hemp fiber left over from the big farm that I had. Small fluid tank is reinforced stone. I actually have a bit of these just in the floor of my base because I got them as a quest reward, but I might rip them up. Um, and these were just... Oh, it needs concrete powder. Makes reinforced stone. Um, so bellows, that'll be simple. This... Oh, we need hardened glass. We have some hardened glass. We can make that. It's not too bad. Um, like the regular hardened glass is just sand, obsidian, and nether quartz in our induction smelter. Uh, compressed iron. We have, we've crafted a bunch of that. I would like to get rid of this recipe for doing it. Um, so we could go a blast chillet route. Perhaps, perhaps. We need flux dust. Or oh, we can cast. We could start casting it with tinkers, which probably isn't a bad idea. And hardened integral components. Right, we haven't done these. These might be the actual, the main gate. So we have made these fluid cells. Uh, redstone flux cells. Uh, I think I have made them for a machine, actually. Connectors aren't bad, but this advanced PCB. So, I don't think we can make plastic yet. This looks like an advanced recipe because you get way more, but you're kind of gated behind this and you need the printed circuit board, which we could trade with a mechanic. But I would like to get this pressure chamber set up anyway, so we might get a villager in. Actually, I'm really sick of the noise these guys make. And I don't use them super often, so let's just... Uh, reduce the noise a little bit you guys just hang out in there and then we just have to listen to one so yeah the advanced pcb so ram chips we've made some circuit breakers these redstone relays aren't bad and wire that's not a problem oh we haven't done this this logic circuit this is new so used in a logic circuit to create advanced redstone logic. Crafted in an engineer's circuit table. So do we need to have a certain... So vacuum tubes are required for all operations except set. So if we come over and have a look at this table. I haven't played around with it. Ah, uh, so I'm assuming this is like vacuum tubes. But we could get backplane and solder. What those are, I'm not entirely sure. So if we were to come over to this guy and say, hey, we want to make a set thing. We need a backplane and a wire. So I'm I don't know what these inputs are used for. I'm assuming... It's for redstone control, right? So you could say it has to input on a green channel and it would output on a white channel. I don't know how we set channels. And it seems like we need power. There we go, it takes power now. Uh, obviously we're not gonna leave that like that, but I just wanna make one of these. So we'll say set requires one of them, one of them. Hey, a logic circuit, nice. And then once we craft redstone probe connector, which is another circuit backplane, Okay, so there's a, there's a few little bits and pieces, but this isn't too bad, but a, a bunch of fiddly crafting that uh, we're not going to show on camera. And it turns out we needed some terracotta, so uh, instead of, uh, you know, smelting our clay into terracotta, I'm going to come and grab some. Yeah, I mean, that much terracotta should hold us over. And uh, annoyingly... Doesn't find the logic circuits. Uh, I think because of the NBT data. Like we can grab all seven of these. Now they don't stack, unfortunately. Can we like reset them? We can't. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Alright. And then, hey. Advanced PCB. Nice. Can't like shift right click. I'm assuming this is used for some stuff. 
right click this item on a tube module to install it. Uh, not what we're doing right now. Now we just need these other little other little bits and pieces. And hey, one thermal upgrade. So now this would be handy for like making some of these machines faster. Not that guy. Um, for like making the induction smelter faster, obviously. But um, we're improving our power generation. Oh yeah, and I tidied up here as well. Uh, so just sort of extended the wall because the cable was kind of running through there. Actually, I needed to come out another bit. But yeah, looks a little bit weird but uh, handy on the inside. So yes, uh, I'm not really interested in making a whole bunch of these upgrades because that's that's some pretty expensive stuff. Well, hopefully we can wait until we get uh, some refined storage auto crafting. So we've got that. We were trying to make, not the fractioning still, we're still making this guy. And we're still missing a bunch of other stuff. We got the hardened integral components. And we've got the tubes. It's just these other bits, which I don't think were too bad. We're missing stained glass. One, whatever this thing is, a liquid compressor. Nice, better than coal. For more efficient pressure creation. Oh, so there must have been like a coal pressure generator. That oh, comes with an upgrade. Alright, so we supply this with fuel, right? Oh, an advanced liquid compressor. Let's not look at that. <laughs> uh, various fuel. Open the available fuels tab. Aha, available fuels. So refined fuel, kerosene, diesel, biodiesel, diesel. Crude oil does work. Well, creosote oil. It's got a value of 50, so it must be not, not great. That's kind of cool, though. So we've got that, and then it wanted us to get a liquid fuel. And we can do it with a fractioning still. Uh, and... It's got some random bits and pieces, but this also doesn't look... Oh, well, it's a lot of fluid cells. I don't think I have that much rubber. All right, we probably need to more automate this. Um, how can I transfer fluid fast? I mean, this creates fluid pipes. Kind of need to move this tree closer and just constantly have uh, the stuff making rubber. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to try and use some Xnet. So I've connected this uh, blue connector. Uh, you can apparently name them, so I, I named it for, for the stuff we're, we're getting from it. Um, and then I assume we can... Oh, we're going to need another connector. We have to connect a connector to this guy. It's also connecting to the hopper. Which is not what I want. I think we have a wrench for... Oh, I'm going to assume it's probably the smart wrench for Xnet. Nope. That's okay. It's probably not a huge deal. Then we can see, okay, that we've got the latex. And we want to be sending that to... This dude. Now we could also send power. Um, for now, we'll stick with trying to send latex to this fluid encapsulator. And okay, we've got it. So can we like tell it? Aha! So with a little bit of googling, right? So we need to. Uh, I thought create a channel. Channel 1, let's get rid of this. Okay. So, energy we don't want. We want to set this to... For now, we'll just do fluid. So we create this. Uh, distribute. Priority distribute. Uh, sure. And we say... 
to create. And this is going to be extract. We'll do that. Uh, I don't know if we need to put anything in here, so we're going to say we extract from our tree latex, our arboreal extractor, and we need to insert into here. Now, is that enough to do it? Not yet. Uh, this this was simple. <laughs> I didn't have the insert set on the float encapsulator. Cool, so he's now getting latex, which is nice. Uh, we could also... I've just been looking at all the extent stuff. Uh, just did some videos online, actually, with a video from uh, 47 Mark IV, and that's four as in, like, IV is the name of the YouTube channel. And yeah, he did a good, uh, good explanation of how this all works. Um, we could also send items. We'll keep it pretty basic for now. Because I might want to use this Lord Encapsulator for other things, so we don't need to have it fully fully automated. So we should be able to say you can input items. And you should auto input. Nice, and he's just going to tick away and make plastic. And then we could use Extent to extract, which would be handy because now we can't fit a hopper under him. Or... Um, we could tell you to input and output. Could potentially filter to stop him inputting plastic, but it should be okay. I don't think plastic coming back in here is going to break anything. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Hey! A fractioning still. I feel like that should have been a quest somewhere. Um, and it is down here. Oh, we still need our tree resin, don't we? Although, no, we can refine some crude oil. So let's hook into some power, uh, even if it's just temporarily. Fractioning still. I've got crude oil. In here. Oh, I've got latex in here. No, I don't. Ah, uh, some crude oil. That's going to get processed, and all we need to complete this quest, and I guess we'll, we could chuck it in that, in that machine as well, is tree oil bucket or refined fuel. So we're going to be getting refined fuel, light oil or heavy oil. So we're getting a little bit of light and a little bit of heavy. Oh, and we can refine that again in a fractioning still. So this could be where XNAP would be handy and we could fluid extract from this and then you can kind of filter which fluid goes where and we could just have like intermediate storage tanks. Um, but I'm picking probably just another. <laughs> another fractioning still would be ideal. Um, I mean, can we get you to... For now... Output out the top. So you've got a little bit of heavy oil. I think I have some more tanks. And then we can just for now swap out this and then change this to input. Auto input enabled. You can then get the light oil. And then, I think the heavy oil turned... Oh, what did I just do? This has light oil in it now. Whoops. Not what I intended. Got some refined fuel. It's not a bucket. <laughs> we need more crude oil. Um, I've seen it somewhere too. Hey, and I thought deserts would be not a bad place to find it. Cool. And then not that, I just wasted a, a thing. So bucket, bucket mode on. Um, now ultimately we don't want to have to be like flying around getting oil this way. Oh dear, now I'm... So that's full, I probably should have made some more buckets actually. <laughs> 
Yes, ultimately we probably we probably want to build up immersive engineering's uh, pub jack oil oil digger upy thing um, instead of trying to to muck around doing what we're doing here. So I'm going to have to clear that. Unfortunately, we'll say you output to the side. We'll say you input from there. Auto input. You're going to get a bunch of oil. Interestingly, you didn't pull more than a bucket. Oh, there you go, you're away. And there we go, we're getting a bit of fluid. So that will eventually get us... And even faster if I do it this way, this will eventually get us... And I've got refined fuel in that tank now. Okay, you see, this is going to be messy. I definitely want to be setting up... Um, perhaps XNet's automation. And this is the worst automation you have ever seen. So <laughs> I am extracting to all three sides. We're extracting light oil out the left side, heavy oil out the right side. We're inputting crude oil from the right hand side and out the back we're input uh, outputting refined fuel and eventually I'll switch inputs and yeah cycle that fluid in, cycle that fluid in. Yeah it's it's gonna be a thing. We're slowly processing this crude oil and it, it cannot stay like this but uh, this will work for now. Just. And it's working. It's working. We have a bucket. We have a bucket's worth of refined fuel. Quest complete! <laughs> um, I'm not going to put this float in here because I suspect I need to hook up some other things. But um, yeah, that, that's cool. Refined fuel. A liquid compressor. Uh, completes the quest and... Now we can see some of this other stuff that we're going to need. Well, we've made our first start into Pneumatocraft. We've, we've got that, that air compressor. I think that's what that is. We have some refined fuel to use in it. We have a zombie burning outside. Possibly a zombie brute. And uh, we got some really bad oil automation. Oil processing automation happening. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. Anyway, that's been Classy Duff. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.